How's it going, everybody? Mr. Bubbit here, and uh, taking a break from crying about the Browns game, and we're gonna instead of thinking about what's in the past, we gotta get past that because that was not fun to watch. We're gonna try to move forward into this week. Now, this week we got some big challenges ahead. So before I show you this, let's take a deep breath. This video is about the schedule for next week. We're only gonna talk about the schedule for next week. Um, so here we go. Deep breath in. Comic strategy, deep breath out. That's for the adults, that's for the kids, that's for the students, that's for me, that's for you. We all need to calm down when we look at this because this is confusing. Let's get into it. All right, so I'm gonna share my screen and show you what I have. Um, I've sent this off to the other fourth grade teachers. We're all trying to see uh, what's the best way to do this here and it's just kind of tricky. Um, so last week we had a shortened day not really shortened day but it was just different um i know i'm in a little small box right now but if you look at the small box up there then we had this schedule here where i was meeting with every child for 30 minutes every day in a small group and we did a big opening meeting and we did a big closing meeting this week we're going to try to shift to uh the full schedule so last week was kind of like a getting to know you schedule and onboarding schedule. We did not have the encore teachers. And this week, the encore classes like PE, media, art, and music, they are on the schedule and they will be working with your child. So that makes a big difference in our schedule. Um, it takes away a good chunk of time. Also, I'm going to try to do three whole groups and then two, uh, and then groups of small groups in between. So instead of just meeting at the beginning and end of the day as a whole class, we will meet at the beginning, middle and end. So if you look at the yellow bars, that is when your child is expected to be in a whole group setting. 8.30 to 9.20 whole group, that's the same. Nothing's gonna change. You see that bar goes all the way across. Same every day of the week. 9 20 to 10 10 is going to be our encores um, now for the first week and even probably in the future some of these encore classes are probably not going to take the full 50 minute block uh, you know you can imagine like mr albright trying to do a pe class for 50 minutes online it's not exactly uh the best platform so we're going to get creative with it we already were talking about some different ideas but just understand that these encore classes are probably not going to be full blown blocks just yet. They might in the future and they probably will. Classes um, might even need some more time and we'll adjust as we get to that. Then from 10, 10 to 11, that blue bar, that is the small groups. Here's the biggest change to this schedule. I was meeting with your child for 30 minutes every day um, and doing a beginning and, and this with this schedule I'm going to be able to meet with your child two times a week for 25 minutes once before Wednesday once after Wednesday and we could also use Wednesday as small groups the reason I'm trying to do three large groups and less small groups is because I'm trying to figure out how to when we start adding more content in introducing more content into the flow of our day. Um, I'm thinking about that. Like how do I introduce ELA and math and uh, social studies and science? Like how am I mixing these things into our IB unit of inquiry? And that might change. You know, we might go back to two big meetings. You know, we'll figure it out. There's a lot of things that could happen here. So it's just kind of, this is what we're gonna try for this week. Um, if you notice here that your child will meet with me once, let's look at this group right here, Cassidy, Tyler, Jamari, Mari, Naya, and Brexton. They have me from 1010 to 1035, and then on Monday, and then on Thursday from 1010 to 1035, all right? Now, because I'm splitting this block in half, 1010 to 1035 and 1035 to 11, I was typically really meeting with your children around 25 minutes to 20 minutes a day last week because we were taking some time to let people log in and we were waiting for everyone to get settled. Um, we're gonna kind of have to, I'm gonna plan less during those small, small groups. I think I was trying to do too much last week anyway. So I'm gonna plan like four or five minutes less 
to still allow some flexibility, but I'm going to ask you guys to try your best to be on time for those small groups because uh, Friday was September 11th. We tried to talk about some pretty sensitive topics there and it was really hard when some students like we did this whole bit of um, making sure we feel safe and comfortable and how to talk about difficult discussions and how do we examine hard portions of our past, which as a history teacher that we're going to do a lot of these kind of uncomfortable things and I'm pretty I feel like that's one of my areas of confidence in teaching uh, kids. And it doesn't work though, if, you're, if you log in late and we did all this uh, culture building and um, just making sure everyone feels comfortable and safe as we move into this uncomfortable territory. And if you log on, right as we're in that uncomfortable territory, it, it does not do well for your child's social emotional being. Like I would almost stop the lesson if your child came in late because I wouldn't want to put them in a bad headspace and not be able to help them through it. Um, so food for thought, obviously this week with a new schedule, we're not gonna be picking up anything too heavy. Um, so take a look, the blue small groups, I got four small groups a day. The yellows whole group. So we'll do whole group 830 to 920, 920 to 1010 will be your encore. Small groups from 10, 10 to 11. Then a whole group math lesson, 11 to 1150, which is probably just gonna be us checking in with each other. Um, then lunch, don't forget the lunch. Then we'll do small groups again at 1250 to 140 right here. And then again, a whole group closing meeting from 140 to 230. And that'll be the last time that we see each other for the day. I put down here 230 to 320 homework, which is like homework or groups, it's the same stuff. Um, this, this homework and group section, if your child is not in a group with me, they will be doing other work, okay? Um, I'm not going to be stacking on a ton of stuff this second week. We'll do a little bit more than last week. We're still trying to build our endurance. But that is the expectation that if they're not doing something with me, they're doing something else. Um, and like I said, it won't take the whole time. So for example, your child's not going to be doing a whole 50 minute block of work for the most part, although it might be close, right? I'm still going to give them flexibility to go take some move breaks, take brain breaks, do what you need to do. Um, but I don't want you, I'm talking to the adults, the families, um, if your child is not in a small group and they have not done some of the activities, then we need to have a discussion about that, right? Because what we're trying to do this week is set the foundation for us to start adding content. We're still building culture. We're still building a foundation, but we have to really be intentional with that. So maybe the activity will only take them 25 minutes of the 50 minute block. We still need to sit down and for 25 minutes, get some good focus in. If it's a 15 minute activity, fine. 15 minutes of good focus time. Like, you know, like we got to get this done so then we can chill or take our brain break. Um, because soon in a handful of weeks, on my head, I am thinking ahead to this end of the first nine weeks and maybe even to the future because who knows what's going to happen. But I really want to push your kids to grow. And this is going to take some big routines to help us do that. All right. Um, last thing I want to show you down here at the bottom. This might help you from the day to day. This is a lot. The colors stress me out, but it's the most easy to print colors with the yellow and the blue. Um, I have attached, I will attach a color coordinated version and a black and white copy. If you're like me, sometimes the black and white stuff is just easy. But for those of you that like to see color, this should print easy. This is a daily planner. So if you're trying to help your student, your child build some of those skills, like, okay, like what's our routine for today? What are we doing next? Mr. Bubba just got off the group with you and you just finished this thing. So what are we doing next? Um, I'm going to start sending my plans out to you guys where you, we, as a class in the morning, we can, we can plug in what we're going to do that day. Right. Um, and so they can have a daily planner. And you can see here, I haven't put students' names in here because it's just any day of the week, Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, Friday, doesn't matter, you can use this. Um, but the students could write in like, okay, you know, whole group today, and they could check it off when they're done. What's our encore today? Okay, well, write media, because today's media. And then they can know that's coming at 920. And if they meet with me that day, they can put the time they meet with it, they could circle it, check in with Mr. Bubbitt. 
Maybe they meet with Ms. Kaminsky or Ms. Hardin or Ms. Graves. They can write that time here. And then this is their daily flow. When we are in the classroom, I have this up on the board. So it's kind of tricky. I'm trying to like show you guys what I would be doing in the classroom. And, and I know it's a lot to expect of you as families. I don't expect this. Uh, I don't expect you to like, I, this is a lot of work that I'm gonna have to do with your kids to get them coached up on this. And the support you give would be awesome, but I also understand if it's too much, because um, this is hectic. So we will be coaching up, or so, coaching up on this this week. Um, if you have any questions about this, please let me know. Um, I'm gonna try to stick with this for a week, hopefully more. I don't know how it's gonna go. Um, it's a big change. Typically, if I was changing our schedule up like this in the classroom, we would have a week notice and then we would get used to it for another week or so. So um, just thinking ahead to the how we're going to be operating in the future, I'm trying to build a schedule that will allow us the most flexibility and the most time together in, in a way that makes the most sense for what I'm, the feedback I'm hearing from you and what I know that the other teachers that are gonna have to work with our kids are designing as well. So this is what I have right now, a weekly schedule, a daily planner for the kids to follow. Um, over here on this section, I have a, I need help. So one of the big problems we're having right now is what if your, your child is stuck and they can't get to my, uh, they can't get my attention right away because um, because I'm in a small group, you know? So we'll start with this. They can write down their questions and then send me a message on Clever, Schoology, an email. Um, and then I'm also gonna check in with them in the middle of the day and answer questions then. Okay, that's a lot. Um, so everybody, I, I'm gonna take another deep breath here. This one's for me. Okay, for sure. The morning meeting and the closing meeting times, those are about the same, okay? So that's gonna stay where they are. The, the groups in the middle are what's the major difference. And next week, we're gonna add the Encore teachers. I'm sending this to you now with this video. I hope you're doing well. I'll see you Monday. And as crazy and wacky as this week's going to be with a new schedule and trying to use Teams and trying to use Schoology, we'll be great. All right. We'll figure it out. Talk to you soon.